Future outcomes are always uncertain. The Magic 8 Ball sets so. And he's up! It's green net for Lucas Shaw! Fast blitz. Podium appearances. Overall victory in the World Cup. But you can't control your competition. Neither can you hold dominion over the weather. Or the gods of chance. Shit happens. All a racer can truly master is the work and the process. You know I run the streets, live a fast life, you know what it's gonna be. Pride up in my mind, always keep it cheap. You know I run the streets, live a fast life. Um, first year, it's a uh, harder start than I wanted it to be. Came into the season, I'm like, I won my first junior race in first year. Why don't I just do that again in elite? Oh, going down hard. I'm like, okay, you need to rethink what you're doing because you're acting like an idiot and kind of like a child. Started 62. I crashed in my race, but I had a good qualifier, so I went to like 50 something. The first World Cup, I had 17, and then I had a really bad race in Stellenbosch. I spend a lot of time focusing on the mental side of racing, and one of those big things for me is focusing on the process and my own performance goals and objectives. Those things don't rely on results. We talk about the P's, the six P's. Six P's, well, I don't know if you're allowed to curse on TV. Proper preparation prevents piss poor performance. Focused on how many runs you're going to do, what's going to be in those runs, do you have your recovery shake ready for after practice, how long your cool down's going to be. Just ticking those boxes day in, day out, week in, week out, each race, each race weekend. It should only have a, a huge positive effect on your mental game. After the last two, three races, I was able to change my mind up pretty quick, like just focus more about how I'm riding my bike and my approach to the race, rather than being more worried about how I'm gonna do and what my result's gonna be. Finn Isles said, oh, no, no, no! It just takes more experience and like more years of racing to be able to beat these guys. You can see this year we've had a few new podium faces. For those guys, once they do it, they realize, oh, actually, it's not, it's not any different. You know, I didn't have you know, gluten-free waffles all of a sudden, and I'm, I'm on the podium, wow. You know, it's none of that bullshit. It's just execution of the foundations and the basics well. Focus on improving each week. That's all we ask for is progress. And then the next rounds of the World Cup, I had a, a huge break in between, like, got to kind of rest up from that effort and have been steadily climbing my way up consistently being like prepared to race, prepared to race my best, and fighting with all I have. The one thing we always say is, you know, win or learn, and it's definitely just learning. Even if you're winning, you have to be learning. It's not win or learn, it's win and learn. Win or learn. Well, for 24 previous World Cup seasons, Quebec has been dishing out hard lessons. A mix of limestone and a miserly dose of topsoil, Mont saint anne offers up 625 meters of elevation and tough love. Is this so much harder when you're actually on it compared to when you look at it from the lift? Yeah, it looks super dumb. I'll try it with my seat up. So I like hit that rock and started to crash and then tried to like save it and it was just chin right to there. Oh like, so my hard. god. Right? That's what I did initially, but then I was like, I'm crashing. And then I was like, what's the safest line? And so then I took a round here 
parts where the streets set. Wanna fight, I need that. It's not the most aggressive line, but like I can hit it when it's boring. Black eye teeth crack, but skin no love. They speak and get no feet. It was super fun to get back out on course and get to see a downhiller's perspective of one of the hardest spots on course. I don't want to ride with my seat up anymore. It feels like you have no no skills to be able to corner. Like it's so hard to like get grip. If it dries out, like I feel like everything works because nobody's gonna try and pass you on the inside unless they're f***ing crazy in the way. Yeah, and no one's gonna do this line in the women's race except maybe Yolanda. Whether it's technical terrain or other races, past history here in Mont Saint Anne dictates that there are very few Yolanda stoppers, only Yolanda inconveniences. My first year as an elite World Cup rider, there was a lot to learn. Like, I was not in the front of the races. That was something I was not used to because as a junior, I was always fighting for the win. It is a huge step to stick with that friend group. Um, I think I've tried every race to be up there and I've cracked uh, and I've fallen back to like ninth, eighth, seventh. And it will be frantic straight off the line as everyone fights for position. There's a lot of single track on this course here in Monsignan, so track position probably more important than normal, I would think. I have all these objectives, you know, have a good start, make the front group selection, ride technically clean, executing my race day plan. If you keep doing those things every time, eventually, you know, the results come. Yulamnev is so strong in the descents, in the technical descents over here, and Annika Langford is a bit more struggling with that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Neff definitely on a different pace to everyone at the moment. Annika Langbad there in second place. Kate Courtney in third. Here it is then, for Beatrice. I had an amazing start today. I think I was in second on lap three, started lap four for a bit. Nicely ridden by Kate Courtney there. It was really a special ride at that point and was feeling really good. I always struggle finding a good feeling at that venue. And I actually have managed this year, so that was a huge personal victory for me. So Langbad back in second place. That's it, we're on the last lap now. No way, what's happened there? It must be a flat, what a shame for Kate Courtney. Unfortunately, dropped from third to fifth and lost uh, about two minutes. So here comes Yolanda Neff. It's been an absolutely faultless performance, and she takes a giant step towards taking the overall World Cup title again. Annika Langbad takes second place then. Can Kate Courtney get back past Anna Tau, which is right on her wheel? By that point, I, I charged really hard, but made some mistakes on the last lap. It's going to be a sprint for that last spot on the podium, so that is definitely worth fighting for. Oh, grits her teeth. I don't think she can. She's got nothing left. And ended up six by, like, just a second. I'm OK. I'm just slightly bummed, which I think makes sense. Yeah. If I wasn't bummed, it means I didn't care. And I <laughs> care. Having a top 10 result on a day with such a big issue is still a really big achievement for me and something that I think in a few days I will feel very proud of. <laughs> Is there someone out there you really want to beat? Look, Bernie, every single time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pump the brakes. <laughs> that, friends, is an outcome goal. Never been the to truly master their craft, a racer must develop the ability to focus on the process, not the final result. If you've done your preparation right, you've eaten well, you've slept well, you've had the correct massage, you've warmed up, you've warmed down, you've checked your GoPro, walked the course, you've done everything you can, and the result will take care of itself. Every day is so different. When you first start the day on the bike, you're like, ooh, so I was a bit like that this morning what you like to do on race day and how you like to practice and what mindset you need to be in when you're racing. You can't just have it right away. Finn Isles now in the start hut. And I just like went out of the gate. I was like, I feel great right now. I feel so good on my bike. Ninth in qualifying, remember though, he had a flat back tire. I got a feeling this one's gonna be uh, a wild one again. 
and he goes down. Oh, no way. Even though I crashed and it's a bit of a disappointment, it's not the same crash that I had earlier in the year when I wasn't focused or was just trying too hard. And it's a good learning opportunity because having those different types of crashes is helping me become a better rider. With Jacko, we did some pretty good last minute changes on the bike and I was a lot hesitating on my lines. Well, okay, we just go try our best, do what we know. And now it's Louis Bruni in the Star Hut. Bruni's going fast. And he's up by a second. I'm trying to be careful on a few specific sections. I was like, oh, okay, this one's gone, this one's gone. And I could feel like I had a little margin to push, so I just pushed a little bit. He extends that lead, 1.1 1 .1 up. Another man who's had injury this year, is it going to be enough? And Bruni, look at the time! He goes in a fast place on 4.12. Only Danny Hart now left at the top. Remember earlier when we mentioned not being able to control your competition? Good. You're about to witness what happens when you've followed your process perfectly, executed your race day strategy flawlessly. And now, all you have the ability to do is wait. Fastest in the technical and the corners yesterday, Danny Hart. Can he pull it back? It is definitely possible on this track. Oh, my goodness. Danny Hart then comes down to the line. Goes third place, 1.3 back. And Luik Bruni wins here in Montsentan. The final results might lead you to believe that Montsentan has been cruel to our two protagonists. That's exactly the problem with outcome goals. The result at the end of the day is what it says on that piece of paper, but if you've followed the process, you do the best as you can, the end result is always something that you're happy with. If you focus too closely on a singular end result, it's all too easy to lose sight of the growth and the progress made along the way. Hey guys, I'm Finales, professional mountain biker. Thanks for watching Red Bull Bike. Click here to subscribe and watch more awesome videos. Perfect. Oh my god! Come out. How you can be?